Robot lawnmowers are kind of getting crazy. Yo, and that's a Lamborghini lawnmower. So it's a lovely Sunday. We're at the gym. Me and my woman over there. Her, a lovely gal. We are, do oh, did I just touch her booty? Anyway, so, babe, where are you about to go? What are you about to do? Okay. I just hit some arms. I did two arms. I did the, what are those things called? What? So I did three three sets of 10, one and a half of 55, one and a half of 75. And now we just did these right here where, you know, you're pulling, where I'm pulling up. So now I have to pull down, right? So down, we're doing it at, um, we're doing it at the 110, 110 pounds. So that should be good. Look, I'm getting buff in here. I don't know what today's video is gonna be about, but um, you know, after I take a shower, I have a long, hard think. I think what I'm gonna do is start making, I, I need to start making more TikTok videos because I, I'm starting, I've taken like five days, six days off of TikTok. So I need to get a good mix. I have more YouTube videos. I'm coming out with more YouTube videos. It's gonna be more reactionary type uh, deal and like half blog, half reactionary type deal. So um, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to just figure it out, right? Also, we hit 1000 subs on YouTube. So thank you, thank you everybody. Um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna make uh, like a like five more TikTok vids today, and I'm gonna make um, another vid for YouTube today. So who knows what that's gonna be? But um, we'll see if I can juggle everything together. I'm gonna finish arm day. I have like four more extra no, like two more exercises. I think I'm gonna do. Um, it might be free weights. I think I'm gonna do free weight stuff. So it just all depends. Also, this is a super nice like gym. Oh my God. Can we just point out how nice this gym is that we have in our apartment, me and my uh, girlfriend? Like, geez. Also, it came with a yoga studio, which I used to stretch in. All right, so I didn't have enough money to make it to CES 2023 in Las Vegas, but this guy did. So let's see what he found. Hey, what's up? I made it to CES 2023 and there's so much amazing tech that I can't wait to show you. We have a lot to see, so sit back, relax, and let's check it out. Robot lawnmowers are kind of getting crazy. Yo, that's a Lamborghini lawnmower. You can actually attach a bag on the back to sweep or collect leaves in your yard. Imagine driving through your neighborhood and seeing this thing doing yard work. It has an app so you can control it and set virtual boundaries, plus some sensors in the front to avoid obstacles. It even has 4G and That's a Roomba lawnmower. It's out of Wi-Fi range. That's straight up a, a Roomba lawnmower. I swear to God. Actually, be fun with the EcoFlow blade. I mean, a robot chopping things with a blade in front but of your house. But you could also what control could go it. Wrong? So, I've heard of I saw that movie. detectors, but what about fire detectors? This new product immediately detects a small flame, then notifies you with a push notification and an alarm beeping. They say that could get perfect annoying. for a kid's room. So if also, you have a why would you, who plays with matches, did you just say for well, a kid's room? Why, why are you leaving those matches, matches with your kid? I guess get this. This that's why you is should have it, because why are, your kid, why are your kids have lighters so and matches? And accurate. That makes sense. But what about the kitchen? Well... The Pro version has a PIR and radar sensor built in to detect if someone is in the room. Then it can alert you if you left your gas stove on and no one is in the room anymore. Oh, that'd, that'd be, be perfect for me. I have OCD about that, but that'd be my, also my worst cameras. nightmare. One looking what if I got that alarm? One facing forward. There is a privacy shutter to block the inside camera that will mute the microphone. Is that a we had this, oh, it's a it dash cam by a ring. That's dope. Debates about which kid hit first. It starts recording from motion if you're not in the car, or tell it to record with a voice command and it will save up to 20 minutes, which so is like perfect century. if the police pull you over. There's no SD card and you'll need Ring subscription if you want to watch and save clips when you're out and about. Otherwise, it will upload the clips later when you connect to Wi-Fi at home, so you don't need a subscription to record videos. In okay. person, this thing is kind of tall and I'm worried it would block my view, but if you no. can see past that, the safety measure that that introduces is way bigger than...
the safety measure that that introduces is way bigger than it just blocking one strip of my view i'm completely fine with that it records dash cam footage and it's ring it that's perfect are that makes you question the future of humanity Thank you, Jeff Bezos. i almost felt out of place walking around ces with just my normal eyes this headset called mutalk is a soundproof bluetooth microphone it's designed to muffle your screams and I wish this was a joke, but this you is really what it's for. <laughs> Since gaming and the metaverse can apparently get intense, this stops you from annoying people stuck in reality. Just don't get hurt in real life because no one will hear your cries for help. Really though, I could barely hear any noise coming from the shout. Yeah, I can First of all, I'm not going to say anything about that, but... I could really use that for actually playing in my house. I'm sure like I could have my girlfriend literally looking at TV out here with me while I'm playing the game because I have a problem with screaming while I'm playing the game because apparently I'm too emotional or something like that. But everyone knows that men aren't emotional, right? So well, I don't understand what her deal is. So outing person demoing this. But I still yeah, can't get past how useful. strange it looks. Nanoleaf announced Nala <laughs> at CES. It does look strange. No, not her. It stands for Nanoleaf Automation's Learning Assistant. Basically, it learns your routines and automates your lights. If you always dim the lights or change the colors at a certain time, eventually it will do it for you. Nala so it's like a AI smart Nanoleaf's lights? new Sense Plus switches. These switches also have a motion sensor and ambient light sensor built in, which they hid pretty well. The thing that literally like sticks out the most is the scroll, scroll wheel. wheel to dim the ah, lights. It's it. definitely easy to use, but only if you can get your spouse on board with the design. Who wouldn't be on board with that? LG's booth is always intense. They had this expanded screen experience that was trippy and made me feel dizzy. Yo. Too real, LG. Take it easy. Could you imagine Plus, that on of mushrooms? Course, TVs galore, with one in particular standing out as the world's first wireless OLED TV. Well, it still has I a I just did power, a TikTok video about the this. The signal is beamed wirelessly to the TV from this little box, which you can plug your HDMI devices and all of that into. The image transmitted and displayed on the 97-inch OLED TV is incredible. I could see this wireless TV That's being crazy. useful somewhere like above a fireplace where only an outlet is available. Mosquitoes love me, so I knew I had to try out this next device. It's called Heat It, and you attach it to your keys. When you get bit, you plug it into your phone's Is charging it, port, like, either lightning or USB-C. Then it uses your phone's power instead of batteries to zap your skin with some intense no. heat. And it was seriously hot, like 124 degrees. This might initially hurt worse in a bug Yo, bite. Yo, could you but, imagine? Uh, apparently it works. The heat stops the bite. In high school, I, used, I did this chemical reaction with ice and salt because i got tricked into it so it is what it is but um up, i didn't know what the chemical reaction was it burned like crazy i have a very serious uh i have a very serious trigger trigger with this product i will never use this product i don't advise anybody to use this product we're going to speed this up some. This is way too slow. ...from forming into an itchy spot that will bother you for days. And I'll take a quick zap over a constant itch. We've seen concepts of devices being powered or charged across the room at CES before. But will that technology ever see the light of day? Actually, yes, and pun intended since this uses light to power devices. So this Alfred Smart Lock is staying fully charged by that transmitter across the room. How cool is that? This lock is actually coming out this year, and the wireless transmitter charging kit should hopefully be available soon. It's safe because it's just infrared light and it's FDA approved. They showed a lot of things it could charge and it's safe for the future. The company that brought us last year's robotic tail and biting cat toy is added again. It's safe because it's FDA approved. Their new robotic pillow compresses approved. and expands to help calm you. In other words, it feels like the pillow is breathing. Weird. I tried it and it's Yo, could you heavy, imagine having a breathing amoeba pillow? If you keep my wife or any of my three daughters calm, then take my money now. 
No, don't take my money. Of course, money. CES is filled with crazy-looking cars it, all over the place, but there were a few that took that craziness to a Volkswagen is announcing their new electric car, the ID7, <laughs> and they claim. It oh my God! Miles is that a freaking it, QR code? Is that a QR coded Volkswagen? Volkswagen? Ridiculous, but it puts on quite the show. BMW stepped up their game from last year's black and white to actual. And did we just see an electric? This was mesmerizing to look Yo, at. This was oh, so many issues. The BMW iVision D. Confusing law enforcement. They're trying to identify your car. Wait, no. Uh, moving on. Sometimes renters can get overlooked in the smart home market, so I really like this new Flex Touch Pro. I'm pretty sure we just saw electric Lamborghini to too. By adding this to your door, you can unlock it using your fingerprint, voice control, or the app. Lockley Don't get electric locks. Safe. You can use the app to monitor Everyone knows that. And receive pamper notifications. This Don't has a really get cool finger, finger printed electric locks, use. especially. Scanning that finger would call the police and notify loved ones that you're in danger. This next company gets me excited about the future of AI and security cameras. Their cameras can identify if a fight is starting and alert you. Someone from their booth was trying to pick a fight with me and it noticed it right away. Then watch this. Bam! Another guy randomly fell over. I can think of some NBA teams who would hire this guy for some excellent flopping going on. But the software can recognize falls too, and all this was very fast and accurate. It's designed for commercial use right now, and it's already being used in malls and sports complexes in Japan. But this gives me hope that our doorbells and home security cameras can someday have AI be on person, pet, and package detection. You couldn't walk around CES without seeing the Matter logo plastered everywhere. Matter, Matter, Matter! So many companies announcing Matter compatible devices. Pay attention. Like Adobe's Matter coming will out this year. be also the Switchbot Hub 2 that has a little display and some buttons. The you can press. next hot uh, topic for like to the US year. TP Link has some new Costa switches that will work on Matter and the Top Matter controller. Forward. Yeli also has some pretty cool looking probably the lights that also work with Matter. But probably the most legit out of all these companies when it comes to Matter is Eve. They've been making thread devices for years, and many of them are getting a firmware update to work with Matter. Eve showed how they could control a light. It's basically with all the systems you'll be able to use CES. Android products, Google products, Mac, Apple products, all together seamlessly. It's still being it will work with Matter in the future. Worked on though. CES wouldn't be CES without appliances that have ridiculous features that you don't need, but they made them anyways. Samsung's new bespoke oven has a really clean, modern look, and inside is a camera. That's right. Yo, that's it can a take dope. Three lapses of your food cooking and upload yeah. it straight to social media. <laughs> it's AKA the uh, social media. It's a social media oven. Updates to their bespoke four why, do you, why would you need a camera inside your uh, oven other than panel. just to post pictures, pictures on, on social media? Pictures of you and I, honestly, you can do you slow time lapses of cooking. That might be dope. To remove the panel. So LG has entered the chat. I've said it in the past that you can't have too much RGB, but LG is you can never have too much RGB. I swear. On the front of their fridge, I would buy this. Sync it to music or have it flash at the doors left open. Just when I thought CES couldn't announce any more unnecessary products, Lenovo goes and announces a dual screen laptop and totally redeems itself. Seriously though, the Yogabook Night Eye is a dual OLED screen laptop and it's amazing. You can use it in so many different configurations. Like when you put a magnetic keyboard on it, part of the screen becomes a trackpad that works really well. This would be great to travel with and folds up so slim with a case that doubles as a stand. I love that the camera is near eye level in the dual screen mode for video calls and I want this thing. If you wish you had some data on your urine, just pee on a new Withings device. It's called U-Scan and there are test strips inside that you can swap out. Uh, yeah, maybe wear gloves, but this can reveal a lot about your health. You can test for hormones, pH levels, hydration, vitamin C, and even kidney stones that are coming. Yikes. But do I want Withings to know all this data too? Eh, they say they can tell the difference between people from their stream ID, wait, 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 but wait. this seems difficult to hit if you pee standing up. And even if you hit it, <laughs> we're just splatter everywhere? So we're questions. just uploading more and more of our human me biology to the One is a new smart thing station, and this is a smart thing that will support matter out of the box. But what makes it stand out is the wireless charger on top and a smart button on the corner. Our so unique you biology, right your by the way. Device. If you have multiple of these around your house, you will increase your thread mesh system with more border routers. Plus, you'll have an extra wireless charger and a smart button too. I like that they're getting creative with the hubs. Samsung also announced that their TVs will support Hue Sync. Samsung so smart. Oh, smart this lights, is dope. You can sync them to a Samsung TV without needing a Hue Sync box. Sweet. CES had more than just electric cars this year. They had inline skates that are powered by an electric motor and even an electric boat. What? The C8 is a hydrofoil boat, so it skims across the water almost like it's floating. And this thing looks pretty sick. It has tons of tech in it with sensors and accelerometers to balance the boat and drive autonomously on a set course. Even if you don't have the $390,000 for this boat, it's paving the way for more electric boats in the future. Next is the GE Profile. My wife who bakes sent me to CES to check this out, and now I want one for myself. It's a stand mixer similar to a KitchenAid, but really smart. This can detect how thick the batter is and even monitor for changes in texture. Then it will adjust the speed for perfect mixing, which is impressive. This also has a built-in scale to measure ingredients and a timer so it can stop mixing on its own. It looks like my quality girlfriend would buy this and use it once. App gives me hope that I could actually bake something. Roborock announced the S8 Pro she Ultra with a lot of minor but baking. really good updates over the previous gen. It has dual brushes now that kind of help clean themselves, two sonic vibration sections for even better mopping, the suction power has been increased, and the vacuum roller section can lift up and turn off during mopping if you want it to be silent while it mops. Plus the dog has a drying she system built in to prevent mold. There was also another robot vacuum that I mean, caught my eye. The TP-Link top host She cooks a mean sweet when potato chip. When TP-Link was telling chip. me this had LiDAR, I actually didn't believe them because it doesn't have I could use this, but I guarantee you this thing is like three thousand like, uh, dollars yeah that's why it's called the slim back with lidar oh well that makes sense so if you want a lidar mapping vacuum with low high clearance to fit under furniture this might be it cooler was showing off a few things including their stillness bath for the first time in person dang this thing looks good they also had these crazy shower heads like this one that slows down the pressurized water and lets gravity control the speed to feel like rain will it actually wash soap off you yeah that's up for debate they did have a <laughs> shower attachment that lets you add aromatherapy smells to your shower pick a scent drop it in and you're basically in a spa it's pretty aesthetically pleasing 
I guess. Anyway, um, yeah, so that was pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna make some food, I think. I'm gonna edit some TikTok videos and uh, we'll make another YouTube video. We're gonna hit the gym uh, tomorrow. We're gonna do legs and yeah. We're gonna try to keep pumping these out. More vlog reaction stuff. I don't even know what I was doing today. I think I was in the gym in this earlier. So, yeah, whatever. We're gonna try, we're gonna, for real, try to keep pumping these out, though. We're gonna try to keep pumping these out. Look at this. See? Pretty cool yoga studio. What I plan on doing today. All right. We're going to, we're going to record some TikTok videos. I'm going to record a YouTube video and we're going to try and stay away from the game as much as we can. Although my friend Raheem is, his girlfriend just went out of town recently. So I can play with him like as much as I want now. Hey, yo. Um, but yeah, so. I don't know. We're going to try and stay away from the games. We're going to try and edit these videos. Um, and I'm going to try and get them out to you guys. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we're going to finish this workout. And, uh, I don't know why she has a pout on her face. What's wrong with her? What's wrong with you? So yeah, I think we're about done. Um, I uh, yeah, we're uh, we're gonna go back upstairs. I'm gonna figure out what to do for the rest of the day. You done? Oh, that's crazy. Nice. That's smart. I wanna do a pull up perfect. I wanna under. Whatever Underhand? Whatever. Whatever. It's a pull up. I'm gonna do a pull up. I'm gonna try. If I embarrass myself, don't laugh at me. I'm only gonna try once. Mm -hmm. This is awesome. Come on. Do a negative though. That's it. <laughs> Okay, if my book crackers out, I'll blur that. <laughs>